Okay. Good evening. Buenas noches. Hola. Buenas noches. Hola. Buenas noches. ¿Qué tal? ¿Qué tal? ¿Qué tal? Hello, how was Mexico? Oh. It was wonderful. It was wonderful. Awesome. Thank you. Great. They told me my Spanish had improved. I don't know. About, I, think I think they were lying to me, but they were really nice about it. So, yeah. Well, I think your Spanish is pretty good. Of course, well, you know, you. we can always improve our English or Spanish. In my case, my yes, English, well, but yes, no. It's, it's fun. So, I'm loving it. Let's see uh, here. Let's Okay, there we go. <clears throat> okay. Uh, <clears throat> miércoles. Oh, yes. Hello. Hello, everybody. Okay, turn on, your, uh, turn on your video if you can. It's not mandatory, but it's appreciated. All right, Manish, we can only see the top of your head again. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Thank you. All right, uh, Mac Dre, remind me your name, please. Uh, Mark, I'm sorry, Mark. I never changed that. That's uh, that's just the email uh, name, but it's Mark. Okay, thank you. I know I've asked you <laughs> like five times, but I should change. I should change it. Just sorry. throws me off. Yeah, but it's, no, it's me. It's my old brain. Good. No, I don't think so. Mucho gusto. Okay, uh, I'll change it for you here. Rename, but it's you know just for this call. All right. Uh, Carol is coming. Good. All right. Uh, Paula, welcome. Thank you. All right. <laughs> All right. Uh, any questions? Carol, how are you? Very well. And you? Como está? Well. Thank you. Uh -huh. All right. Where in the world are you today? In, in Los Estados Unidos, in, uh -huh. Mars, in, in mi casa. In Morristown? Yes, Morristown, New Jersey. Okay. Mm. I don't know why, but I did not know that you lived in Morristown. I knew in New Jersey, but I did not know Morristown. Yep. We work uh, closely with um, a church there in Morristown. Which one? Uh, First Church of Christ. It's uh, Christian Science. Really? Yeah. Uh, huh. they, have a, they have a big event this uh, Saturday that we're hosting for them. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I have to look into it. But this Saturday, I me voy a Nueva York para cuatro días con, con un amigo. Oh, un, yeah. Uh, yeah. Actual, actualmente. Porque Nueva York es un es una lugar encantado. Uh-huh. Eh, uh -huh. Oh, en la, sí. El, en la Navidad, sí. Okay. En, la, en la ciudad, en sí, oh, sí. Uh, Ana said, un lugar encantador. Encantador. Sí, thank you, Ana. Uh, thank you. We, should we let Bryce in? Open up the door. <laughs> I didn't see that there. That's a big yeah, let's let him in. <laughs> Since since he did all of the examples for us, good. Okay, any questions this week? Need any help with anything? We want to help you. Hey, no puedo forward. recordar nada. Perdón. No puedo recordar nada. <laughs> Yo tampoco. <laughs> sí. Uh, well, I, I just learned about the distance. <laughs> I just learned about the distance between. Me gusta and me calle um, and me calle bien. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know it was a, a different. Yeah. Huge <laughs> well, difference, well, right? Well, uh, hey, you gotta hey, be careful. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, porque, porque, um, uh, why you laugh? Porque, señora. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a big difference. Yeah, yeah. I you know, like yeah, no. I know, yeah, no, I it, know. It's a, it's a, it's a common mistake. You yeah, know? I, I think, I, yeah, yeah, at the beginning, I yeah. think most people would, and it, it's the same thing also for us in English. Yeah, um, I never knew that. In English, yeah. yeah. So, but yeah, it's very yeah. common. Yeah. And that is important. It's great that you learned that. <laughs> yeah. Difference. What is it? What's the secret? Uh, one, uh, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. ahead. No, no, no. Yeah, you. Okay. One, one, 
when you're talking to when you're talking to a person, if if you say Magusta, that me that's a romantic term. You're that's what that, yeah, you're interested in. But a Kaya, <laughs> uh, 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 Mikaya means that you just generally like somebody. A uh, Mikaya, oh. you know, it's just Mikhail a general Bien. term. Yeah. Mikaya uh, Open up the yeah. chat. Open up the chat if you can, and you'll see what Anna's writing for you. Okay. Hey. Mm -hmm. Good. Mikaya uh, Bien. <laughs> that be, that just, just mean you generally like some you know you just generally right. like but if you say if you say mugusta that that means that's a romantic <laughs> they take it as, as, as romantic those. Has yeah. those implications? Like, yeah, it's like yeah. oh mama. <laughs> right, yeah. See, see yeah. Yeah. oh mama. <laughs> okay. Um, so, Mr. Roseboro, what do you have teed up for us today? I saw Anna's note uh, in the group. We're going to be working on. You were still talking, James. I interrupted you. No, go for it. Um, I, we are going to be working on tan, tanto, and demasiado. Oh. Um, mm, good. Tan, tanto, and demasiado. demasiado. Tan, yes. tanto, and demasiado. Okay, yes. let's so, jump. Like too, too much, that much, so much. Right. Let's Perfect. Jump Too much in here. And uh, I'm going to try to move us to the top, and hopefully, it'll record that. Okay. <clears throat> Everybody knows the drill. Any questions? Any new people? Michael? Hold on. Okay. Um, so let's just jump in. Who wants to do the first one? I'll do it. <laughs> What's tengo it que, tengo que deja de toma tanto. We got to stop drinking so much. <laughs> yes. Say, read the Spanish again. Tengo que deja de deja. tomar tanto. Dejar. Make sure you have that. Dejar. Dejar. Tengo que deja. Deja. Así. De tomar. De, tengo que deja de tomar tanto. Muy bien. Okay. So much. Make, well, make sure you. Make hear. sure you, you can hear the R. You know. You know, what word? Toma? Or this, toma. the last R. Toma. Mm -hmm. Tomar. 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 Dejar. Tomar. Tomar. Good. Dejar. Practice that. Okay, I have to stop drinking so much. Tanto. So much. Tanto. Dejar de tomar tanto. Okay. Any questions about that? <laughs> All right, number two, going the other direction. Can everybody see the screen okay? Yeah, that's, that's, yeah. The problem. <laughs> that's not the problem. Okay. <laughs> the I can, try it. can I try that one? Sure. Um, El Viento. Um, hmm. Es demasiado. Um, demasiado o tanto. Tanto um, duro. And, what, what, I fuerte. Oh, fuerte. Fuerte. Fuerte que. No está seguro. Uh, manejar. Good job. Okay, so that so let's talk about the difference between duro 
and fuerte. Okay. So what are what is the difference? Any ideas? Anybody been down this road? Uh, I think duro is like something that's hard, like a rock. And fuerte is something that's strong, but something that that has a lot of energy in it. No? Yeah. I would yep. think that's that's good. Duro can also be difficult. Difficil. Oh. But duro, hard like a rock. I like that. I like see. it. Does, uh, Anna, do you agree? Uh, can, can you repeat, please, the statement? Say that again, Chet. Say that again. What what were your definitions? I think duro means something. Duro, it's something as hard as a rock. Something that's hard. Um, something that if you push against it or hit it, you'll you know it you it won't move. It's hard. You can't move it. Well, fuerte is like something that's strong, that has a lot of energy to it. And okay. sometimes that's a feeling. Uh, that is the key, the capacity of something to apply energy or pressure or strength. Okay. Mm. And that's what the wind does. When it's windy, you know, it pushes you back. Okay. Mm. Or you can't see. So there is a uh, like energy. All right. So you cannot break and boy, well, you can't even to break an energy. <laughs> but my point is, like Chet said, you cannot um you can break a rug, for example, but you cannot break uh a wind or a rain. Okay. So it's because it's basically energy. Um and it can be like a strong person, you could say, Oh, ella es fuerte, but we're not talking about her muscles. You are talking pro probably about her capacity to do things, her energy or her, um, uh, like her attitude, for example, that would be. So that's yeah. the difference. Could we, could we say that the uh, duro is uh, like a characteristic? Yeah, then it says duro como una roca. Mm. Yes, we can say that. So that will mean that you're mm. strong mm. or also uh, that you have like strong opinions, but mostly uh, strong, like physically strong. Mm. Yes. Good. Good chat. Mm. Okay. So if I if I say something like I, I lift strong weights or I lift heavy weights, is that, am I using peso or am I using... That's uh, peso. Okay. Peso. Okay. So, mm -hmm. Peso. So, es, pesado, yeah, um, heavy. Peso, <laughs> estoy levantando peso, o so, es pesado. Hold on. Uh, hmm. How do we say that? Instead of weight, let's say the uh, El peso, the, El peso. The, the rock. El peso is done. Let's say the rock, the rock is so heavy, I oh. cannot lift it. Uh, this fits in with uh, today's lesson. <laughs> it's uh, rocks or girls. La roca. Feminine. <laughs> La Roca. Huh. <laughs> Están pesada. Pesada. Oh, so heavy is pesada. Pesada. Okay. Everybody got that one? Yep. All right. Tanto ruido. Tanto ruido. I'd like to try that. Go for it. I tanto ruido que no puedo concentrarme. Good. Great pronunciation. Mm -hmm. There is so much noise that I cannot concentrate. Yeah. I'm unable to concentrate. I'm not able to concentrate. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so, right. 
Why is it concentrarme instead of concentrar? Bryce, why is it why is it concentrarme? Um I, I just know it's a reflexive you're concentrating yourself. It's a reflexive verb. I mean, I just Without that, I would be concentrating something. If I if I squeeze something together, I'm concentrating it. Okay. But if it senses me, then that's. I, mean, I think that's the way I understand it. You need the me. May. Shouldn't be in that translation. Focus instead of concentrate. Uh, concentrate is good. It's, okay. It's good. So is okay. But I can't focus is also good. Um, enfocar, enfocarme. Right? Yeah. Because yeah. I can't think. I can't. Okay. So. Could you also um, say, could you also say, uh, no. no me puedo concentrar? Yes, you can say that. Okay. Um, I say, I, hay tanto ruido que no me puedo concentrar. Since it's reflexive, remember that with the reflexive verb, you can switch the me at the end of the reflexive, put it before. And then the verb goes, um, 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 what's the word? Um, infinitive. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good job. That was Paula, right? Yes. Right. Great. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Thanks. Okay. It means exactly the same thing. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Okay. Can I try? Sure. Maria is tan alto como su papá. Is tan alto como su papá. Right. Okay. So that was Michael, right? Um, right. Say tan. Tan. Michael? Yes. Uh-huh. Say tan. Tan. Yes. Instead tan. of tan. It's not it's not tan like <laughs> in English. It's tan. Es tan, tan alto. Maria, Maria es tan alto. Como. Alta. 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 I knew you were gonna catch como. me on that. Papa. <laughs> Maria. Yeah. Tan papa. alta. Tan. Como su papa. Say the whole sentence again, please. Maria is tan alta como su papa. Excellent. Really good. Okay. Great. Okay. Uh, does this make sense? As tall as. Tan alta como. Yep. Why is it como? As, How it it's is. A it's a comparison. Right. Hey, okay. Okay. <clears throat> Cinco. I'll try it. No practican tanto como deberían. Um, they don't practice as much as they should. Yeah, that was too easy for you. <laughs> That's why I jumped in rapidly. <laughs> That's my right. girl. <laughs> you did, did number six also, Carol. Oh, <laughs> I didn't. That <laughs> That's harder. I didn't know that he was that rude. Um, no sé que él uh -huh. fue it's... demasiado crudo. Yeah. Oh, era. Tan Rosiero. Okay. Say, say what Anna's written here. Okay. No sabía que él era tan grosero. Okay. So why is it sabía instead of say? Um, because sabía is, um, let me see. Um, it, it, it's in the, it's sabía, sabía. Um, it's in the, he's always rude in the, he's, it's like, it's a characteristic. Yeah, and it's past. 
Yeah. Yeah. And it's no a I didn't know. Yeah. Simple no path. Sabia. Is that simple, simple. path? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yes. I didn't yeah. know that he was. So you'll you'll often hear me or other people, you know, we we learn something and it's like, ah, no sabia. I didn't know that. Yeah. Or no lo. Or que no estamos usando el subjuntivo? Uh, uh, it, this because, is definitely because we we definitely did not know that. It's 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 not in doubt. It's like we did not know that, right? So, so yeah. it's not like um, we. It's not like we don't know if he's going to be rude, right? We know that he is rude we just we didn't know that he was that rude <laughs> right so yeah. uh there, there's no quizás or maybe or whatever we this is we're talking about ourselves and we did not know that does that make sense manish see sí. okay yeah. great <clears throat> manish how about number seven uh, ella no es tan clarita como lo era antes de la lesión. She is not as athletic as she was before the injury. Any changes that make sense, everybody? See, hey, I want to point out something real quick on the last one. I just thought about um, right now. I didn't know he was that rude. It, you know, that's correct. Like that with the indicative. But if you said I didn't think, then that would turn it into a subjunctive. OK. Uh -huh. There we go. That's thank you, Bryce. That's um, OK. Okay, so because don't think represents doubt. Okay. Manish, does that make sense? Um, I understood the James. I understood your explanation for for uh, I didn't know. I'm not sure on why um it's okay for no pensé to use subjunctive versus um no uh, no sabia. I'm yes. having toward double differentiate those that's doubt do, do, you say i don't know that's you saying you're saying definitely you don't know but didn't think represents doubt oh okay yeah yeah i see it go change that is great bryce that is a great distinction <laughs> matter of fact thank you as a matter of fact i don't think I don't think is a, is a very good indicator that you'll be used. I don't think I didn't think um, will cause the subjunctive. Mm -hmm. It's a key for mm -hmm. yeah, Very good. I don't think. I see. Okay. Excellent. Good mm -hmm. lesson there. Great lesson in, in number six there. That's good. Yeah, he might still be rude. I just don't think he is. <laughs> Probably <laughs> is. <laughs> well, maybe I didn't think he was. Yeah. All right. And gross, grosseo. Grosseo or grossero? Grossero. Grossero. It's an R in it. Okay. Awesome. Ocho. Mm -hmm. Let's see. We went to the um, the light parade, the parade of lights last weekend, and thought it was just a little a little thing, and it was <laughs> massive. It was like it was 70 degrees outside in Phoenix. Is that is that a Christmas thing? Yes, the parade of <laughs> lights. It was it was all at the, 70 degrees. Well, yeah. It was the parade. It was the all the floats and 
and the marching bands and the whole bit. And there were too many people there for me. Okay. <laughs> is, uh, is, is it, uh, there are too many people here for me. I, the Masiado, gente, a key part of, part of me. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Part of me. Now, a lot of people now just remember that the Masiada has to ma match. You're talking about people, gente. Okay, but the Masi, yeah, 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 the Masiado. The Masiada. The Masiada. Okay. Uh huh. Okay. But other than that, A, it was perfect. Good yeah. job. Good job. Okay. I, there are demasiada gente or demasiadas personas. Oh, okay. So Very gente so is singular and feminine. And feminine. Okay. Personas is feminine and plural. <laughs> okay, that's a good little thing to notice or yep. distinction. Yep, yep, yep. Oh. That, this one's about my level. Maybe I should try again. <laughs> La película es demasiado larga para mí. The um, movie is too long for me. Mm -hmm. Right. For any Spanish speakers watching this, para los hispanohablantes, two is T O O. Too long. So larga is not large, it's long. Long. Yes. Mm -hmm. Shouldn't it be demasiada? I, I knew it. I knew it. That's exactly why I followed this one up. That's a good question. <laughs> When it's a when it's two representing two, then it stays a demasiado. Wow. <laughs> what? What was that? that? Is, that this question. is huge. This is like mind blown. It right. is mind blowing. When it's an ad adverb, it yeah, it doesn't change. When it's like too something. Now when it's too much, like too many, too much or too many, it has to match. But when it's Two, it just stays demasiado, regardless of, uh. you know, like, like the the movie, like the movie is, is la película is, you know, is, is a feminine word, but it doesn't matter as far as demasiado in, in this case. Wow, that's hard. Okay, <laughs> just let it sink in for a minute. Um, does that does that make sense? What Bryce is saying for us? It's annoying, but it does make sense. Okay, it's just a, ru it's just a rule. Just when you thought you knew everything, yeah, it's, it's, Bryce comes up with a new rule. Mm -hmm. No, I'm kidding, Bryce. I know. <laughs> okay, but that's exactly why I followed that up. I was I was wa waiting to see if somebody was <laughs> you were ask hoping that somebody would say there. that. Excellent. That's good that you asked the question, so you know we everybody can, you know, get it straight. So, so, uh, how do we simplify that? Um, uh, we we're just gonna take it as a rule, okay? Too too, it doesn't change. Too much or too many does change. Uh, you can think in Spanish like quantity. You will say demasiada. And generic or general is demasiado. Okay. Okay. Wow. You must have to teach your children that a lot of times. Okay. Let's go down to a new page. Just as upset about the game as her husband. <laughs> okay. Doubt it, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> Have some upset people 
during the World Cup in my job. <laughs> um, okay. so, and there yeah. are a lot of them. They, so can, the they can be. They can be for <laughs> sure. Yes. All right. So my, first, sister's, my sister's a Packer fan. She would agree with that. Okay. She's <laughs> just as upset as my me. sister's a Packer fan. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. So, Aya, I'm going to start with Aya. Aya Fue. Aya Fue. Okay. On. <laughs> I don't, going, upset, going, so. I don't know how to say upset. Keep going, Bob. Keep going. I don't know how to say upset, so. Molesta. Um, ¿Qué? Pardon? Molesta. 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 Oh, right. Molesta. Molest. Molestado. <laughs> Solo molesta. Molesta. But see what. I'm molest what's, what's molesta. Mm -hmm. Now, but notice what Anna put for the second word. Molesta. Oh, estaba. Why is it estaba? Yeah, I was going to ask that. Yeah. Feeling, yeah, what a, why is not fue, uh, estaba instead of fue? Yeah, I was going to ask that. It's not a place. <laughs> well, think of it in the present tense. The molesta. Yeah, es molesta or esta molesta? Okay. I remember estaba is temporary. She cannot oh, be okay. upset forever. Oh, okay. <laughs> right. Maybe. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> okay. That's but, right. Yeah. And a play is more for something that finish. But that's in this right. case, you know. She like, might have been annoyed question. for a long time. <laughs> it depends on how much money she lost, I suppose. Yeah. Okay. So finish the sentence. Yeah. Molesta como su su espouso. No, de, de, de el partido del de como su espouso, no? Esposo. Oh, yeah, I left that part out. Okay. Say, say esposo. Esposo. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's not spouse, it's esposo. Esposo. Okay. Good job. Okay. Yes. Right. So read, read the whole sentence, Bob. Okay. Ella estaba tan molesta por el por el juego como su esposo. Great. Okay. And if you want to, right? And it's same as in English. She was just as upset about the game as her husband or she was just as upset as her husband about the game mm. okay right that makes sense yep cool okay are you trying to teach us anything specific in this one tan molesta no just just a just another example of you know Tan, you just know, as just as yes, just as or as the same tan represents both of them, mm -hmm. just as or as. So for the Spanish speakers, it is or strengthening the it strengthens the emotion. It's showing the she like so up. She was just as just as upset, showing the severity of yeah. In this case. So the just, just is optional, but we use it most of the time. Oh, yeah. She was as upset as her husband. She was just as upset. So mm -hmm. it it really makes it specific. She was as upset, but just as upset. It's like equally upset. Okay. What is quejas? I thought it was quejas. complain. I thought it was complain. I think it is, yeah. What is it? You complain. Though. You complain too much. You complain too much, yeah. Yeah, comes from the verb quejarse. Yes. Basically, we don't say that to anybody. 
we don't. sort of to a woman. <laughs> I've said this, but not in Spanish. <laughs> I don't stop use complaining. Don't use, <laughs> like stop complaining. I don't I'm use that sentence. That. <laughs> I don't. I don't use that sentence. You are a wise man. Wise man. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, you complain too much. Te quejas demasiado. Te quejas. Now, what if it's a woman? Is it demasiada? Nope. Nope. The same. <laughs> okay. Good job. Because we're not, we're not, anyway. <laughs> uh, we're going to be very leave careful. It. Let's James. leave it there. Okay. <laughs> That couch is so comfortable that I fall asleep almost every time I sit on it. That's a big, long sentence. Who wants to go for it? Yes, it's, it's a paragraph. <laughs> that couch is so... Who wants let to me do try that? this. Yeah. Um, let me try this. <clears throat> and this is a real try. Esta sofa is tan confortable Que me, que me deja dormir casi Esa, casi Esa. Uh, every tiempo que me sentara que me sentara lo que me oh hmm. interesting que me quedo uh -huh. oh, que me quedo mo. casi Okay, I got that dead wrong. And also, you can say casi cada vez, also. Yeah, that's not yeah. a common in Spanish. Yes. Is, it's not, it will be a literal translation, but it's not okay. common. It will be casi siempre or casi todo el tiempo. It will be okay. better to, to, to say. Yes. This is the Right. Say the say the whole sentence again. In English or Spanish? Spanish. Well, yeah. say the say the English first. The whole sentence in English. That couch is so comfortable that I fall asleep almost every time I sit on it. Esta sofa es tan cómodo que me quedo dormido casi todo el tiempo que me siento en él. Great. Let me help you with a couple. So, es ella. Por, ¿Por qué no está? Me siento en ella. Porque... So far, is 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 masculine. ¿Sí? <laughs> yes. Oh. And huh. it's, it's one of those words that ends with an A, but it's it's uh, oh, really? okay. Okay. Uh, yes. It will be ella if it's a chair in ella en la okay. silla. Esa silla es tan cómoda que casi siempre me quedo dormido cuando me siento en ella. Okay. All right, Chet, let's practice sofa. Sofa. Good. So it's es not sofa. sofa like it, it's not sofa like in English. It's sofa. Sofa. Okay. And Está comodo. 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 Right. Comodo. Comodo. Que me quiero dormido casi todo el tiempo que me siento en él. Good job. Okay. Great. Thank you. Now, now, would that be translated that uh, it keeps me sleeping? Me quedo dormido. I think it's just a. I think it's. Maybe. Um, I fall asleep. I I fall myself asleep. I fall asleep. Is it oh, just okay. idiom? I I go to sleep. Right. All right. Stay asleep. I, mean, I, I think. I think. I think. What you're asking, well, mm -hmm. it can be translated also perfectly. Can me duerme. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. Gracias. And instead of uh, dormir, like something that finish, que me duermo. I think that's what you're asking. Like I go to sleep instead of I fall asleep, I go to sleep. Right. Or just I sleep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, if you're asking somebody, you have a mi siento here. If you're asking somebody to sit down, can you say, say sienta, say siento, sit uh, yourself down? Uh, depend. You can you can say siéntese por favor o siéntate siéntese. por favor. Siéntese if is usted, you know, more respectful, uh, uh -huh. more formal, more than respect, respectful and formal. Siéntese por favor o siéntese. And siéntate, siéntese. Siento. That's what, that's what I'm thinking of. I said it wrong. Yes, okay, and siéntate. Like, oh, sit okay. down. It's familiar. Or if you're, and also, if, you, if you're being, like, very uh, strict, okay. you, you know, que te sientes. <laughs> okay. Que te sientes. That you, that may you sit down? Okay, okay. Like, Would like, you like, sit down? down? <laughs> well, <Yeah. all> right. <laughs> okay that's that's the yes que te sientes que te sientes siéntate <laughs> okay. how would you say that to a group of people like in a courtroom sit down <laughs> Sienten. Siéntense. 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 Okay. okay okay all of you all right. Now, Good. I'll try the next one. Se embarachó tanto que tuve que llevarlo a casa. Okay, careful um, with the A and embar. Llevarlo or em, embora, emborachó. Good job. Emborachó. Okay. Um, he was so drunk, I had to carry him home. Okay. Take him uh, home and he... drive him home, yes. Oh, drive him home? Well, you could say, I, well, it's take I, him I, home. I, Literally, it's take, take him, him home. home. Okay. Take him home, drive him home. Uh, well, <laughs> yeah. If you're in New take, Orleans, drive, you say carry, carry him home. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Llevar, para llevar, to carry. I had to carry him home. <laughs> okay. so it would be he got so drunk. It wouldn't be because you say, say, em, emborracho. Um, that, that would be reflexive. So he got so drunk. Is he that, got himself drunk. Uh huh. Okay. He got so drunk, yeah. Yeah, because he did it to himself, right? Right, right. Yeah. Well, most likely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, uh, <laughs> I had a couple of brother-in-laws that got me drunk. <laughs> I was young, okay? But it was their fault for sure. John, well, maybe, we, you can I say have no. no doubt you're right. As you remember... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Have another shot. Have another shot. Have another shot. Yeah, that was that was wrong. Hey. Okay. <laughs> I like both the books and the movies of Lord of the Rings. Man. I don't think Carol. Oh, oh what? I don't think we need the comma there. I like both. Maybe I like both. The I books. put a comma. I like both the books and the movies. Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings. Me gustan. Me gustan ambos. Mm -hmm. Los libros y los libros y los libros y los ambos. Let's let's hear from the libros. Michael, Julie, Charlotte, one of you chip in. Paula. Can you say me gusta los dos? Uh, los libros y las películas? 
Me gustan. Okay. Me gustan. Um, oh. Ah, there you go. Oh, yeah, there you go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, you can, Julie. Oh, uh, me gustan ambos los dos. Um, los libros y las películas de Lord of the Rings. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. El Señor de los Anillos. Anillos. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the title of the movie and the book in Spanish is Señor de los Anillos. Okay. Hmm. One thing I wanted to say, uh, and that's correct, uh, but I also wanted to go for something else that you will hear. Sometimes in this case, you will hear me gustan tanto um, los libros. Um, como, como las películas del, oh. um, so like as much as I like the books as much as the movies. I know you're in this case. See, that, that's that's a good. I, I did another example to show that one also because it's, it's a slight change. But me gust, in this case, me gustan tanto. Um, tanto, in this, tanto. Okay, that's correct. I will suggest when you're speaking, don't use tanto. For this, for both, it will be more common to use ambos or los dos. Tanto las, and if I'm to uh, listing things, tanto los libros como las películas, las series, uh, I think it's more when you're writing something more formal than when you are just speaking with someone. Hmm. But it's absolutely correct what Jim said. Okay. Okay, good point. So is the next one what you were saying, Bryce? The yeah, well, tantas a, cervezas the, well, como number sixteen is uh okay. number sixteen is 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 okay is as much because someone said as much, or maybe you may have said as much. That that's okay. the as much uh example. As much as okay. Let's do number sixteen next, and then we'll back up to fifteen. Okay. So Number 14, I like both the books and the movies. And then 16, I like the movies as much as I like the books. How do we say that? Me gustan películas. Okay, we know how to say the movies, right? <laughs> Los películas, tanto. Las películas. Okay. As much as it's a comparison, right? Yeah, como. Como tanto, isn't it? Como tanto. No, it's tanto como. Oh, it's a tanto como? Okay. Tanto como. How do you say I like the books? Me gusta. Me, Me gusta. Los libros. So I wanted to say something. Yeah, that you the me gusta. You you can say that, but you don't have to. You could just say tanto como los libros. Just like oh. in English. Just like in English. Okay. Yeah. Right. I like the movies as much as the books. Or I like the movies as much as I like the books. In fact, but as far as as far as the translation, it does say in the English, I like the book. So let's uh, let's how about that, Bryce? If we yes. per, per parenthesis, what's the word? Parenthet parenthesize. Parenthetical. Yes, no. but but to make yeah. some to put something in parentheses. Parenthesize. Wow. Parenthesize. Parenthesis. Parenthesize is right. Okay. Thank you. Oh my gosh. It's a word I've never used. I'm losing it. <laughs> okay. Let's back up to number 15. Who wants to grab that? Michael, Julie, Charlotte, Paula, Babo. Can I try it? Your... Can I try it? Yeah. Go for it. 15, right? Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, my, my computer keep cutting off, but let me try. Uh, I tantas cervezas como refrescos en su refrigerador. Uh, there is there's too many beers and soft drinks in the refrigerator, in your refrigerator. Not too many. As many. As many. As, as many. many. Ah. Yeah. There are never too many refrigerators. There are as many beers as sodas. Oh, that's it. Soft drinks. Some people say pop. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they do. Not here. We say pop. Not in, New Not in New Jersey. Okay. You say sodas? I say yeah. sodas. I say yeah. Soda. Yeah, um, so pops. we say pop. Where Where are you from? Well, I'm from, I'm living in Texas, but Ohio, we say pop. Yeah, really? Michigan too. Pop yeah. in Michigan. Yeah. Pop in Ohio. Because when I was in the Army, I was asking some guys to go get me some pop. They were from Philadelphia. They didn't know what I was talking about. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. and pop, how you meant, are you sure you said pop or pot? Pop. 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 Okay. Um, Anna. Yes, I got a question on that one. Does isn't it doesn't it have an A on it? What? Um, that's a that's a guy. <laughs> Is it the same? It's optional. In the refri, in the refri, in the refrigerator, in the refrigerator, it's the same. Refri. Okay, I always thought that was had to be feminine. I thought it had to be feminine. Like computador y computadora. Good okay. question. Yeah, yes. but compu yeah, but we say less com computador. Um, yeah, it's more like computadora. Almost always, el okay. computador. Maybe people will say that. Okay. Why, no, why is one. what is why is the Sue? What it why is it Sue instead of just L? Uh um, possession in his or her. Yes. Okay. Well, so, um, so it would be his or her. It's not uh right. oh, your. Okay. So yeah. It could okay. be his, her, your. We okay. are, yeah, if you huh. good, okay. That's a, that's, that's a good catch, Dennis. Good catch. Okay. Otherwise, what would it be if it was the refrigerator? It is. It'd be el or la, right? And apparently we can use either one in this case. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> All right. Getting down to the wire here. Yes. No, I don't have opinion. Options to choose. Mm -hmm. No. Okay, seventeen. Right. Well, you think about that. So there are no, no hay there been too opinion. many options to choose Opciones from. Para elegir. Okay. That you, you can or you can think of there aren't that many also. Uh, uh, there. So uh hey, what is this one? What is 17? Many. Is there aren't the, that many? There, there are not too many. They're not that many. So, too not many. many. Kind of goes into demasiado. It's just that you know that slight difference. There are not too many options to choose. Like, or demasiadas. Okay. Yeah, there aren't too many options, would be like demasiadas okay. opciones. There aren't that many options to choose from. You can imagine that. You go to Costco, you can have, mm -hmm. you know, anything you want. Right. Because it's that one thing, right? Okay. Um, whereas there are too many options to choose from. Is it the same? No, that's it's not the I same. Right? A demasiado. A demasiado. A demasiado opciones yeah. para elegir. Opciones. 
All right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Can everybody see the difference? That many, yep. too many. Mm -hmm. yeah. There aren't that many. There are too many. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yep. Great. Great. All right. Number 18. Um, I can try number 18. Go for it. Um, tenemos um, tantas temas cubrir en este reunión. Demasiado. Es demasiado, tal vez tantas. Tantos, actually. Tantos temas. Yes, okay. Temas. The temas is, so it's, is it's not temas too is, many. So is it demasiado? So it's, it's, it's tantos. tantos. It's tantos. tantos. Yeah, that's what I thought. Mm -hmm. okay. But it's what do you temas, think tantos? temas. Temas, now, temas, is, temas is masculine. That's another one. Oh, I think it has like okay. the words with the A. I think they have like an Arab origin or something like that. The the, the words in with A. Not that that matters, but the, mm -hmm. you know you have some words in with A Greek. that are still masculine or Greek, maybe oh. Greek. Okay. Okay. I I, I don't Greek. know. I thought I've always thought La Tema. I don't know why, but I say Tema, but I thought La Tema. Okay. Thank you for just, clearing it up. Just for clarification, so many versus too many. All right, we have so many or too many topics to oh, yeah. this okay. meeting. Okay. Okay. 19. Do that one. Mm -hmm. Hay demasiados problemas para discutir en una reunión. There are too many problems. There are too many problems to discuss in a meeting. <clears throat> in one meeting or in one meeting maybe that need to be discussed or something <laughs> oh, <no>. okay <laughs> too many problems to discuss to okay. discuss oh yeah okay demasiados too many yep all right oh Nadia how long has Nadia been waiting to get in I uh, admit her. Oh, Admitted okay. her. Ah, okay. Uh, must be just the message was on my screen. Okay. Nadia, you want to try number 20 since you just got in the room? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know. I cannot get it on the eastern side the time right. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Well, it's good to see you. I know it's been a while. It's been a minute. Yeah. So we are, you can look at the recording and the, and the document. Um, yeah, okay. But uh, we're looking at um, tan, tanto, tantas, demasiados, those types of things today. Okay. Man. Cool. So it's too much of a risk. Uh, anybody want to jump in there? Es demasiado, es demasiado de un re, riesgo. De riesgo, yeah. Yes. Risco. Risco. Rego? Rego? Rego. Rego. Yeah, you just, you just need riesgo. Yeah. Demasiado riesgo. Can you no? say, can you say el, el, um, yeah. el riesgo es demasiado? The risk is too high. Yeah, or yeah. too much. Could you, yeah. say, could you say it that way? Yes. Mm -hmm. And it's, I believe it's okay to say it's demasiado much. alto. It's too high. Mm -hmm. Well, folks, folks, believe it or not, we finished off 20 sentences. Wow. In getting the smarter and smarter. <laughs> We're getting better. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Good job, everybody. Pat yourself on the back. Yeah. Um, we'll okay. tell that to James or the next time we'll real Bryce and we'll have a real problem. <laughs> yeah. If he don't thinks so, it don't too be easy. so hard. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Uh, let me. <laughs> no, no, I, 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 no, it's fine. I, I like when we get through the sentences because you know we're covering more material. No, you don't. No, you more don't. More sentences, the more material. <laughs> 
Oh, Bryce. More knowledge. <clears throat> yes, don't leave us, Bryce. We these are fantastic. Thank you. Okay. Um all right, let's see. Today is the 11th, right? So we have one more right. meeting, the 18th. Obviously, we will not meet on Christmas or New Year's. <laughs> okay. Um, but uh, we do have one more meeting this month, the 18th. Any requests? Any any ideas about uh, things that are driving you crazy at the moment? No, estoy aquí el um, uh, el 18. You're not so. going to be here, okay? You're still in New York, enjoying. No, in no. um, let me see. In Budapest. Oh my god! Oh my god! You are so. He's like, let me check my Rolodex. <laughs> <laughs> That's wonderful. That's going to be beautiful. You staying there for Christmas? Mercado, no, Polonia. And Poland? In para para uh, Navidad y para Navidad y um, regresar a regresaré después de um, el 28. Okay. Europe is not is not a safe place right now. <laughs> Where? But Europe is not a safe place right now. Los Estados Unidos no está seguro. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> well, in Europe is yours. Car Carol, <laughs> no. you're you're like you're like my hero. I I you must have a one of those really really fat passports. I do. Yeah. The frequent uh -huh. flyer queen. Mm -hmm. Wow. FFQ. <laughs> That's so wonderful. And Polonia is. Besoi Shriant. Is K? Besoi Shriant. I don't know. That's, the, that's uh, oh, oh. The, the holiday. Is, is the, uh, Merry Christmas is Besoi is Shriant. I'm going to remember. Besoi Shriant. Okay, in Polish? See, si. speak yes. Polish, Dennis? Mm. You speak Polish? No. Uh, uh, old, old poco. Okay. <laughs> my, my parents were Nazdrovia. Excellent. We're gonna. Right. I better get this. I don't want to get this. All right. All right. All right. Thank, All right. You, Bryce. Okay. Thank you, Bryce. All right. Thank you. Okay. Anna has yeah. already posted this document into the WhatsApp oh, group. God, she's so fantastic. Mm -hmm. well, she is so fantastic. I know. Okay. Yeah. And James, um, ¿qué es su pro programa en, uh, en Morristown? Dígame más de esto. Oh, so, no, I'll, send you a, podemos, I'll send you a link. Uh, yeah, I'll send you a link. Um, uh, it's First Church Morristown. Um, One of those... And what are they doing? They have a big Spanish community. Uh, no, it's not Spanish. It's uh, oh. religious. It's uh, really? they're um, they're going to be doing something on Handel's Messiah. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, cool. um, with uh, going through, it's uh, the title is from Scripture to Song. It's kind of the story of how the Scripture became the song, the the program for Handel's Messiah. It was written in England, wasn't it? I or was it, it first was, performed there? I thought it was. I thought it was done for the or, for as a fundraiser for orphans. For no, for for women in London. In London, wasn't it? I'm not sure. I don't know. I think it was first performed in in England. I, it, it could very well. I think it, it was might written probably for, true because I did the registration pay, and I think something about this guy. Yeah. It mm -hmm. was. It was. It was from England. It won't be right. Um, but wait, but the, wait, what was the deal about, you know, um, Anna, everybody what's the URL? Sorry, oh. Carol. What's the URL? Um, uh, secure. Oh, is that VLT um, agency that comes slash uh, from song to scriptures? From scripture to song. Uh, exactly. <laughs> okay, exactly. Just one second. I will share screen again. Uh, they are not Catholic, Carol. You see, you know. It's uh, Christian scientists, very, very yeah. religious, um, very, you know, great people. 
They are great people. Not to be confused with Scientology. Um, so this is the URL if you were interested. Um, for, uh, I'll I'll post it. I don't ever, okay. Okay. I'll just send it to you privately. Hold on. Um, it was Dublin that was first performed in Dublin on April 13th, 1742. Oh, 1742. According wow. to Google, who knows everything? Well, that's, the biblical that's probably foundation right. of Handel's. I always thought it was Park. London. <laughs> wait, it was, wait, it was first performed in Dublin on 13th and received its London premiere a year later. After initially, oh, after initially a modest public reception, the oratorio gained a popularity, eventually becoming one of the best known, um, et cetera, et cetera. But why do people, now people, what's the deal about when they stand up, when the um, hallelujah chorus is, is uh, played? Everybody stands up. I, I do not know. I don't know. I, I don't know the whole story. But Anna created this whole page. Wow. So this is, nice. this is what, uh, Thank you. This I wish is I what we, done. this is our day job. It's only it's only being performed on this Saturday, is that right? Yes, but there will be a recording. So if you go here and you register, you'll be able to see the recording of the event. Okay. Yeah, um, but it's in Morristown, and that's amazing. Yeah. So uh, it's um, yeah. Anyway, uh, small world. Yes. Okay, thank you, Bryce. Thank you, Anna. You're welcome. Okay, dokie. All right, have a great week, everybody. Right. Thanks a lot. Take Ciao care, everyone. Yeah. Bye. 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 Ciao. Bye. <laughs> All right, have a good. All right, hold it. Or pop. Yeah, go have a pop. <laughs>